fresh out the oven. What is cracking, everybody? It's Mega Pie Man here, and welcome to Look at My Map. What is cracking, everybody? It's Mega Pie Man here, and welcome to another Look at My Map video. This time for King of the Hill Synthetic Event B1, also known as Synthetic. S I N. Instead of S Y N. This is a Halloween version of King of the Hill Synthetic, my King of the Hill map that got some competitive testing and was fully finished and put up on the Steam Workshop. You'll find a link to that in the description below. This version is, of course, a Halloween version, a quote-unquote Scream Fortress version for Team Fortress 2. If you don't know, Team Fortress 2 has a yearly event called Scream Fortress, which is all based around Halloween, and they do that around Halloween time. And it's pretty much... It's generally consistent. I think there was only one year where they didn't have it because Jungle Inferno, that update released like right before Scream Fortress would have happened, so they decided to skip Scream Fortress. But usually there's a bunch of maps added, a bunch of cosmetics into the game, and it's the best way to try to get a map in the game these days since you don't see a whole lot of updates for Team Fortress 2. So, I'm trying to see if I can make something good enough to get in this year with... Synthetic Event B1, or at least B1 for now, because this map is not finished. So, let's take a gander around and see what all of the new stuff is here. Now, I do have a background lore bit of story to go along with this map, but before I get into that, I gotta give a, a big round of thanks to a whole bunch of people who worked on this map with me for custom assets. Huddy, who worked uh, with me a little bit on the original version of King of the Hill Synthetic, didn't actually make something for that, but made something for their own map, CP Mist, and let me use it, and then worked with me to get it to work for... Synthetic. Uh, they made a model for this, a person named Bleholtzen, if I'm saying that correctly. Bleholtzen? I feel like I'm saying it wrong. I'm so sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. This guy, as well as Dat G Man, have been just amazing for helping me out with this map. They were on the crew for the Source Filmmaker animation. Agent Gun, I believe. And I contacted them originally because I wanted to use portraits and stuff that they released a, a collection called the Fine Art Collection of a bunch of custom portraits. And I wanted to try to get something custom for the map. And they were wholeheartedly full in on it, not only with that, but they have also allowed me to use some reskinned versions of stuff from the Agent Gun animation, which is pretty awesome as... It, the the sciencey stuff fits into the lore of the map, as well as FGD5. The guy is a fantastic modeler and has been helping me with some some, some specific stuff as well. Uh, is there anyone else particularly that I want to talk about? Charging Turnip. I worked with Charging Turnip on Generator Defense Power Break. Uh, Charging Turnip has made a model for this map, as, and there's a bunch of other people who haven't made models for this map, but have sent me models that they haven't unreleased to the public that were in other uh, Halloween things. Like, I've got ASG Alligator sent me uh, cauldrons that he made for Rumble Event, which is, is fully in the thing. Uh, also, uh, it's, I cannot remember who made them, but the Bubbling pots for rumble event as well i got those I, I don't use them for bubbling cauldron pots i use them for decoration but they were able to send those to me and i've also got a couple of things in here of custom download stuff that are just available for the public on tf2maps.net so there's a lot of custom stuff in here the map size is pretty big it's probably the biggest map size that i've got so far and I'm trying, I'm really trying to be light on custom content because custom content can bloat your map file size by a crap ton. So I'm trying to be light, but I also want the map to, you know, be unique and look good. 
And there's not a whole lot of Halloween stuff that you can mess around with, let alone Halloween stuff that isn't plastered all over the place, because uh, ever since people started making custom Halloween maps, they've usually just started throwing all the gimmicks in there. So you've got 20 maps with the Wheel of Fate and Merasmus and Underworlds and a bunch of crap. I want to... I want to have some of that, but a lot of it is some of the maps, they just throw everything at you and it makes it way too chaotic. Spells and pumpkin bombs and whatnot. I want to have that stuff in this map, but I want to have more controlled chaos. Yes, we have gargoyles. Gargoyles are a thing in the map. But I want more controlled chaos. So, and, and there is a boss. I did put a boss in the map. There is the Skeleton King. He's one of the lower bosses, not like Merasmus or Monoculus or the Horseless, Headless Horseman. I always got to remember exactly how you say that. But the Skeleton King isn't used as much. Um, I think he's only really... He first showed up for Hell Tower. And he's used a little bit, I think he's in Monster Bash as well, but he doesn't seem to be used quite as much as those other bosses, and he's not as unique to a map as those other bosses. Merasmus is very unique to Ghost Ford with the Wheel of Fate! And, um, as well as Carnival of Carnage, he's with that map. And, I mean, you could, you could throw everything at the wall for Halloween. Bumper cars and bosses and blah, 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 blah. I want to have some of that, but I don't want to have a ton of that, you know? I want it to be fun, I want it to be chaotic, but I don't want it to be so chaotic that people get really tired of it. There we go, we got the, the Skeleton King once more. Which actually somewhat plays into the lovely freaking lore that I have for this. And if I can get this to work correctly, we'll go over here to this portrait of Annabelle Sinclair. Now, Annabelle Sinclair was the sole owner of S the Sinclair Estate, which is the location that this map takes place on. The Sinclair Estate, over the years, has been retrofitted to fit her, let's say, scientific needs. The main thing that she wanted to do is, is to try to unlock the secrets of life and death using a combination of science, magic, and the occult. So there's paraphernalia of all of that stuff all over the place. You got specimen jars, you got spell books, you got pieces of body parts all over the dang place. So it's, it's kind of a mess. And she took the estate and did whatever she needed to with it to do whatever she wanted to. So you've got Tesla coils and science equipment all over the dang place. You've got bubbling cauldrons in here. You've got more science equipment out here. You can see all this science stuff all over the everything out here, especially over here. The mixture of manor assets over on this side, uh, castle assets and industrial assets to try to get that idea across that it's like this, this isn't how this place was built. This is how this place was changed over the years to do what Annabelle wanted by trying to figure out how to create synthetic life out of the estate using, of course, tons of bodies and whatnot all over the place. And you've got these, um, where are they at? These vats over here that aren't, they're not fully finished. The model isn't fully finished, but these vat things that were made by Huddy that are used to sort of try to bring things back to life, make synthetic humans and spooky, scary skeletons and whatnot. Specifically this guy. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's the basic background for it. And then when Annabelle Sinclair ended up eventually passing away, or did she? Maybe she actually unlocked some sort of secret of eternal life, but is unknown to humanity. Who knows? Anyway, uh, this the entire estate went to auction, and due to the er an error in the paperwork, it is now owned by both the red team and the blue team. So both teams are fighting to the death over the place. There's another gargoyle. They're fighting to the death all over the place to claim the dark secrets for themselves! Because, you know, in the background story of Team Fortress 2, the Man Brothers are trying to live forever so that they can outlive each other and take over the entire company and blah blah blah. You know, lore. Background lore. So, because I hate myself, 
And I decided to make the original version of King of the Hill synthetic have asymmetrical detailing, because uh, it looks cool. And I hit myself. It's twice the work, but it looks cool. Then I had I wanted to do asymmetrical Halloween detailing as well. So uh, I had to basically delete most of the detailing that I had and then re-detail everything to keep the layout the same, but to make it look Halloween-y. And I think it worked out pretty well. Is that gonna be the Skeleton again? That is probably gonna be the Skeleton. You know what? Let's just jump in here as a heavy real quick shoot the skeleton man and then i can show you a bit more of the halloween things i've got going on because like i said i didn't want to go too crazy with halloween things but i didn't want to have them of course there's pumpkin bombs there's the skeleton king who hopefully i can murder without getting murdered where are you skeleton king heavy is coming for you that is a terrible impression my russian impression Heavy is coming for you! That's a little bit closer. That's a little bit closer. I am not... Not only am I not a, um... A, uh, impressionist, I also... The voices for the characters in Team Fortress 2 are so ridiculously unique. It's very, very difficult to... Where the crap is... The Skeleton King? Buddy? He's gonna... He's gonna show up behind me and murder me. Anyway... Well, cap the point here, and I'll show off one of the big, the well, the only other big gimmick that I have for this map. Basically, there's the boss, and then when you capture the point, something magical happens. I am very paranoid that this guy is going to just pop out around the corner. I don't know where he is. I don't know. What, there we go. I got spell books now. So every time you capture the point, or every time the point gets captured by either team, spell books show up. And the reason why I have it limited like that is specifically because I don't want spells to be too chaotic. Spells can be fun, but they can also make things unfun very quickly when there's too many of them. So I'm trying to limit the usage of spells, and the main way that I'm going to do that is by having a limited amount of spell locations and making it so that they only show up sometimes instead of all the time. I have no idea where the Skeleton King is, nor why the Skeleton King is not showing up. Did, did he disappear or something? Did the map break? Did the map break? Please tell me the map didn't break. I would be very, very unhappy if the map is broken. Anyway, the Skeleton King is set to to die a couple of seconds, a specific amount of time, not a couple of seconds, a specific amount of time after he spawns, he will die, and then he will respawn with the big witch sound effect, which maybe the witch sound effect is actually a laughter from Annabelle Sinclair. Ooh, spooky. Um, and all that other whatnot. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to check the map out, you can download it from tf2maps.net. There will be a link in the description of the video. This is currently beta 1. I rolled the map back to beta 1, and I did that specifically instead of having this released as an RC one, because I want to make sure that the map is as good as it can get. There's the Skeleton King! Hey, buddy! How's it going? Hopefully you don't get stuck with the nav file or something. Nope, nope, he's coming. He's coming. He's gonna kill me. Okay, we're good. We're good? We're good? Are, are, just calm down there. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> the Skeleton King is the only other way to get a spell book because the epic spell books drop when you kill that guy. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. That is King of the Hill Synthetic Event B1. Please check it out. Let me know what you think. If you think it's good, if you think it's bad, if you think there's more things I need to do, if you find any bugs or anything like that that need to be addressed, Mission let me know. Ends. I can't fix it if you don't tell me. So I need you to tell me. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Mega Man PhD. I am going to be working on some other videos. I, I have had qu more quick peeks and whatnot in the works. I just have put everything on the back burner. Well, there we go, there's the epic spell. While I was working on this, at least to get the, ver the first version out, I'd like to have the whole thing finished and release on the Steam Workshop by October 1st. That way I have the entirety of October to get attention to it 
and uh, try to get people to, want to, to vote for it and, and, and want to get it in the game, possibly. So that's the plan. I would like to have the final version ready to go by October 1st, but right now we're in B1, so we got a little bit of ways to go. There are a couple assets that I'm waiting on to be finished, um, and of course I still need to get feedback on the map and whatnot, but thank you very much for watching. I've Mega Pie Man, and I will talk to you guys later. Be on the lookout for other stuff coming your way, because it's happening. It's happening.